Yeah, definitely. I think um, the last couple of Anglo Welsh games, you know, it was really, really good opportunity for me and all the, you know, other young guys trying to get up into that first team. So, uh, yeah, I, th I think it's really important, um, you know, being able to run out in the starting team, um, you know, and then sort of breaks the ice from when you go, you know, eventually go to run out for the first team um, in the Premiership or the Champions Cup. So, you know, it's good. And I guess that's the aim in the long run, isn't it? And and. There seems to be a well-trodden path of players that have come from the Championship. You know, in your position, someone like Mitch Leeds, for example, mm. who's a London Welsh, has come up. And, and, and is that one of the reasons why, obviously, Exeter were the champions, and or, well, they weren't when you initially yeah, agreed yeah. to join, but yeah. they were doing well. Yeah. But is that one of the reasons why you, you see a lot of players from the Championship come to the club and succeed and come through, because there is that kind of well-trodden pathway? Yeah, there is a well-trodden path. As you say, there's, there's loads of players here that have come mm. from the Championship, you know. So... Uh, yeah, I think, I think, you know, it's a natural progression, you know, you go through your A-League stuff, your LV Cup, not just guys from the Championship, you know, it's guys coming up from the Academy as well. So, um, yeah, you just sort of earn the right, you know, going through each, each competition and then taking your opportunities when you get them. Worcester away, just been speaking to, to Ricky, he'll take the team, and, and he was telling me that the rumour is they might well put in a, a, a pretty strong side. Yeah. Um, how does that make you feel? Because obviously when you play in a Premiership game, you know you're going to be playing a, a, a tough side, but sometimes people expect Anglo-Welsh to maybe be a slightly second team. Does that excite you more or does that daunt you more? No, obviously it's exciting. You want to play the best team possible, really, because um, it gives you more of a personal challenge, I guess, and as a team. Um, so, yeah, I, I, I don't think it really matters too much. I think that, that you're going to play how you're going to play. You know, you, you've got your structures, you've got your game, so you go out and execute that. Obviously, how well you play depends on how well you execute on the day. Um, but, you know, I think you don't worry too much about what the other team are bringing in a way. It's more about how you're going to approach the game. Fantastic. Thanks, Manny. So, is there a bit of frustration in the camp after last week coming out of, of Europe? Are you, as players and as a squad, are you trying to move that on quickly? Yeah, yeah I think so. Um, obviously, we're sort of a changing team this week um, of going from the Champions Cup guys coming through to the LB Cup guys, so uh, yeah, I think I think the point is, you know, that's done. Like, every, obviously, regrettable and people are disappointed about it, but we've now got big priorities on the Premiership, the Anglo Welsh, you know, and we can concentrate and really do well in them and hopefully go all the way. As you said, it's a big opportunity for guys like yourself to really lay down a marker, and we've seen in the past, Sam Simmons being a prime example last season. He used this competition to to thrust himself into to bigger things later in the season. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. And, you know, there's some, you know, we'll have some young guys running out on Saturday who have been really impressing in the A-League. So, you know, it's exciting to see them go and see how far they can push. So, especially the guys who involve, like, the under-18 under England side as well. So. What about the competition for places? Has that been, you know, driving your own standards up, do you feel? Yeah, definitely. I think, you know, all, all across the board here, we've got quite a uh, strong depth like a lot of depth in the squad so I think every position you know you've got to push yourself and if and if you're not you know you're going to get caught up you're going to get you know someone else is going to have your shirt so it's not I wouldn't say it's pressure but it's just you know it drives you on once makes you makes you be a better player really. And what of Worcester this weekend you would have done your homework on them you know the kind of game they're going to play but what sort of threat are you expecting? Um, I think you know they've always got a big pack out um, I think we need to take that away from them um, you know, I know we can be dominant as a full pack on the weekend, so we've just got to go out and do that. I think once we take that away from them, we should be going forward well. And as Ricky said, you're in a great position, top of the league at the moment. If you keep winning, you'll you'll be there in the semi-finals. Yeah, absolutely. You know, it's very very exciting position to be in. You know, we play two, one, two, um, and two more games to go. So you know, everyone, you, once there's you know there's no there's nothing after this straight semi-final, final. So big um, big motivation for all of us to go out this weekend, next weekend. Thank you.